to good old RVing. My name's Greg and I will be discussing with you the way I'm installing my solar system. And today we're going to focus on the solar panels going on the roof. And so um, before we get too involved in that, there's a few things you got to be sure you do first. And that's pick the location of all your major components. You got to know where your batteries are going to be, where your inverter is going to be, where your circuit breaker box is, where your control panel is going to be. Because the closer you get all those together, the better it will be for your wiring. And so let's start off with um, the size and, di and dimensions of your uh, solar panels. Well, what I did is I took pictures of the RV. And with those pictures, I just started drawing what the wiring, where the wiring is going to go from where to where. And because I've already picked where my batteries are going to be and inverter and charge controllers and I already picked where everything's going to be and so now I'm just kind of finding out the path where I'm going to run the wiring so I took pictures of the outside and I also took pictures of the inside and of course those are not the control units I'm using but it serves a purpose and then also this is my circuit breaker box and so the wiring is going to go directly through the same area and so it could splice into my circuit breakers no problem and so no roofs are created equal okay everybody has a different RV or different stuff on their RV roof and so they'll all be a little different solar panels also come in a variety of different dimensions more wattage less wattage and so the best thing to do is measure your roof measure where you could put your solar panels make some cardboard templates and visually see okay my panel could go here my panel could go okay. there okay number one measuring the roof check okay so with this screwdriver right here take off that vent cover And this will help determine what type of uh, roofing material I have. Okay, so this isn't going to be a big video on how to determine what type of roof you have or anything like that. You just have to know this type of roof you have so you use the proper sealant so when you install your solar panels, um, the sealers adhere properly. And so I'm just going to show you the basic step on checking what type of roof you have. Okay, if you see white, in my case it's an off-white, but it's usually white. And if there's black on the opposite side, you have a typical EPDM roof. Um, if it's white on both sides, it's typically a TPO roof. Okay, EPDM stands for ethylene, propylene, diene, terpolymer. And I probably pronounced all that wrong. And the TPO stands for thermoplastic poly olefin and I probably pronounced that wrong too but anyways alpha systems that's a combination of both roofs it's an EPDM and TPO kind of combined to make it an ultralight EPDM roof and so um, that's what we got so I hope this helps you identify what type of roof you have okay type of roof I think we covered that pretty good. Check. Okay, let's talk about mounting brackets. I'm only going to cover the most uh, commonly used, and those are the Z brackets. Um, they're impossible to get under without totally dismantling everything if you want to clean under them. Then you have your tilting brackets, which you could tilt for a better sun and also for cleaning under them and there's different varieties of tilting brackets 
Here's a different one where there's no bar underneath and so you could actually clean and get a better ventilation underneath it at all times. Then you also have these type that they do not screw into your roof. They adhere to your roof with the glue or sealant or something like that. And like something on this, they have like 3M double-sided tape or, or the uh, other types of sealants available. Type of mounting brackets. I think we covered that pretty good. Check. Okay, first up is the way we're going to secure those mounting brackets to the roof. And the way I use is I use butyl tape. And if you could look and see inside there, I don't know how clear that is. But that'll tell you the butyl tape I use. This stuff, as you can see right here, real sticky. You do not want to leave it in the sun. It'll be impossible to, well not impossible, but very difficult for separating the paper off the butyl tape. Once it's on there, it's on there. That's what they use to hold awning rails to the side of your RV, along with those screws that if it was the screws alone, those onion rolls would just fly off. And so, first up, butyl tape. If you have a steel roof or a roof you don't want to put holes in, other than one that has TPO or EPDM, this is what I would recommend. Your choice, just my opinion. Um, I used it even on my EPDM roof because it adheres to anything just about and so uh, really good stuff um, put it under the bracket then put your screw through it and absolute great seal okay next up okay this is what I call this is what they call stick and bond. It's very similar to a turn bond, which I also have. Um, I actually put this on the roof under the brackets first. And it's like it says, it's, it'll bond. It's, this stuff is great. And so um, I put that down first. And then I will put the butyl tape on top of this. And then I'll put the screw through and this will just be a little bit of like a, I don't know what you want to call it um, I use it so the brackets don't dig into the roof because this I believe is gives it a little bit more buffer and so it'll be a little thicker in that area for the mounting so stick and bond that's the name I hope you could read it okay next up okay this uh, you can read the label these are the uh, lag bolts I used on my particular lag screws I think it says on my particular uh, brackets I use tilting brackets and so they're not real big and they're galvanized so they shouldn't rust and then plus the sealer I put on them and everything and going through that other stuff just an extra addition to them not rusting yeah these particular ones are quarter inch one inch long this is what I used on my brackets and I also used these uh, fender washers and these are these are uh, quarter inch holes so the lag screws could go through them for extra mounting force on the bracket and then of course over all of this I used uh, 
die core self leveling die core self leveling caulking uh, let's see if I have some of that okay so that's those two things next step oh and if you're gonna use the like Z brackets most of the bracket kits come with their own hardware but if you don't have hardware stainless steel is my recommendation as far as anything on the roof and that's pretty much guaranteed not to rust pretty much nothing is perfect okay next up okay and here's the Dicor lap sealant it's uh, self-leveling this stuff is awesome it'll it'll do exactly what you want it to do and then if your roof isn't in the greatest condition you can either pick before or after to resurface your whole roof here's a sample of some of the wiring and connectors that I'm going to put in a different video but I wanted to give you a heads up of these are the kind of things you're going to need to install a solar system quite a bit and the mounting materials okay a lot of mounting materials to be covered and I think we covered Okay, turn the bond, tape, uh, non-rusting hardware like stainless and stuff, caulking, self-leveling, or broken can do it, MC4 connectors, heat shrink, terminal lugs, cable. Okay, I think we covered all that pretty good. So I'll just go check. And I think that'll be it right there. Okay. I decided to go with these Renogy uh, panels. If you look at the dimensions, 57.6 by 25.9, those fit my measurements on the roof perfect, so I installed eight of them. And you can see where I installed one there, and then I numbered where I'm going to put the others. And here's just a picture of one couple of them where I installed them and, and sealed them. And here's the first one on the left, and the second one on the right, and then again back and forth till I got all eight of them on there the picture on the right where I have the wires going through the roof don't make the same mistake I did if you want to start one way continue the whole thing that way but I ended up putting conduit on the roof and uh, now I need to change those two little critters right there okay whatever you do don't do like me and start one way with the solar stuff that you find online and then change your mind halfway through now I gotta take that stuff off and install this stuff in its place so I can put the right type of conduit over the wiring and so it'll seal all proper okay then well I hope you got something out of this video um, all of my solar panels are on the roof and I'll be posting a video on how I did all the wiring and connecting it to the charge controllers and a step at a time and so uh, please if you liked it if you got anything out of it please subscribe or like or leave a comment if you have any type of questions at all about uh, installing the solar um, I'm no expert I did everything from what I've learned and read and talked to people about and I'm trying to get to where I need to be just like everyone else so um, I'm willing to help you as much as I possibly can so I hope you have a great day and safe travels see you the next time